What's up, guys? What's going on? Hey, thank you for tuning in. But listen, do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button, and I hope you gain some knowledge from this video. So today I'm at a property uh, that I put a bid on last week uh, to do a couple of things. So I'm gonna take you around a little bit, but just kind of give you an idea of what we're talking about. So we gotta do the outbuilding. Uh, I gotta dem demo that. Uh, gotta do a grass cut, initial grass cut. I gotta do some antimicrobial spray in the basement. Um, and then I gotta remove some exterior debris. So those are the bids that came back recently. And you're not gonna believe what they paid me to do this. So let's go around, let's talk about it. Pretty decent neighborhood as you can see. So this is the backyard. So we gotta get rid of this debris. You can see how how, how, how the uh, grass is or the weeds or whatever. So all this debris gotta go. Gotta get this all taken care of. This outbuilding right here that I told you guys about, we gotta remove that and get all the stuff that's inside of here out. Gotta get all this right here removed. All this gotta go. Tree branches. Just somebody left a bunch of stuff. So all this gotta gotta go. I'm not touching this blue tarp here because it's underneath the weeds or underneath what, what they consider, I guess, the grads all that over here then we got to tackle this little yard here so the grass is pretty high as you can see uh the reason why we're getting rid of this is because it's unstable so if this falls on somebody it becomes a hazard and you know then you can sue the bank or what have you so it's no more good it's kind of good it's not good anymore so i got a bunch of mattresses laying around mattresses in here and a bunch of other junk so all of this gotta go it's gotta be removed trash over here just gotta get the grass so that's what we got going on today you gotta get all this stuff out of here and I'll uh, try to film as much as I can but I'm sure you guys want to know how much I made from doing this because you're probably interested in the field and want to know how to make money in property preservation. And so uh, this is definitely profitable. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll tell you how much uh, I bid at the end and let you know how much I made, but this is pretty much a day's worth of work. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload again. take my saws on and chop it up and get this thing out. There you have it guys, all done with this part anyway, taking down this uh, out, out building. So, it's all done, didn't take that much time. Uh, just gotta be careful when you do it, you know. But uh, it's super hot out here. It is so hot out here. It's not, it doesn't look like it looks kinda, but the humidity is high. And I like to wear long sleeves so I don't, you know, at least limit the bug bites and all that other stuff. 
So that's why I went long sleeves. Told you about the debris. Um, so this is debris from the outside, from the side yard, uh, the storage, also uh, just the trash that's throughout the yard. So they paid me to do that, uh, and I'll tell you that at the end. But so that's all the stuff that. Um, so this is all the stuff from the yard, except for my stitching cord right here. But uh, all this is from the yard. So just trash and debris. Uh, this is the outbuilding, the little storage they had. We got a ton of stuff back there. Chairs and satellite dishes, mattresses, uh, cement. All this gotta go is grills. So it was a bunch of trash. And that's from the side of this yard. From the side over here and the stuff that was back over here uh, is now gone. So let's look at that. So all that's gone is on the side. And, and the reason why I do that is because um, I could have did this all in one day, but I'm just gonna kind of put it into two days. Uh, just because right now it's not super busy, but it's steady. So um, I'm gonna take this trash that's back here and I'm just gonna put it on the side so I can cut the grass. This stuff is out the way. So I'm gonna go back here and cut this grass and do the side yard up here. Yeah, that's kind of, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and then tomorrow morning I'll just come and since everything is in one area and I don't have to cut that part because it's just pretty much dirt. Um, I can just finish this out, come tomorrow, load up, and go so and i'll show you that uh we'll, we'll film i'll film that for you so you have you know idea what's happening uh so you go to dump and get rid of this stuff but um yeah so let me get to starting to cut this grass and then um we'll go from there yeah so let me get to starting to cut this grass and then um we'll go from there Okay guys, so it's the next day and I'm out here trying to get rid of the rest of this stuff. Trying, well, I'm gonna take it to the dump. So I'm gonna load all this stuff up and take it to the dump. Uh, let's go and take this slot loading this stuff up and we're going to the dump and drop it off. But before we load it up, I wanted to show you how I trans just take my truck and I put these little wooden things I made, kind of make some side rails to make it just a little bit higher so that it goes to the, like, to the top of the truck. And that way I can just kind of load stuff as I need to. So I just made this piece of plywood, put a, uh, a, a two by six on here, cut it, you know, put it inside the, uh, the little holes. So then I'll have a nice size truck bed. Um, so it'll probably take me a couple of loads to drop this off. But again, you know, it's cool. I could have called my buddy to um, get rid of this stuff, but I just figured, you know, it's kind of good work to do just to keep your mind off stuff or keep your mind moving and just kind of just think. So I like doing this because it helps me to just get away from things and think. So sometimes while I like doing it myself, last night I, I didn't like it as much because when I got home, <laughs> man, my body was aching because I hadn't did so much walking back and forth and lifting and all this stuff. You don't really feel it till the next day, pretty much, or the, the night of. So, but it's back to it, trying to get it done. So that's where we at. So I'm going to the dump now and drop this stuff off. I already got a little bit of stuff in there. Well, I got some, some weeds or whatever in there. And then I'll dump this to the dump, come back, do it again. We have one of the nastiest places in the world, the dump. As you can see, everybody's offloading, so this is where your trash go when you, uh, I almost don't know where he going. But anyway, so I gotta unload this stuff. Uh, see, I look at all the birds.
halfway there, guys. We're halfway there. Just got this last little bit to get up. And this right here. So we got one more load after this. And we're done for this. All right, guys, so listen, I've completed everything inside of this location. Uh, so what I did, uh, you guys were saying from the beginning, um, we took care of all the trash and debris that was over here uh, to the left and throughout the, in the outbuilding. Uh, so we did that, we removed the outbuilding, turn around three so they can see. So the outbuilding is no longer here. All this is gone. Uh, the grass, so I'll turn around this way. So the grass, we cut the grass, the front, you just leave it on me. Let's leave it on me. I can, I can just pan. Okay. So we cut the, we cut the grass in the back and the front and sides, everything. So that was done. So we completed the grass, the grass cut. We got rid of this outbuilding as you saw before. Uh, we got rid of all the debris inside. I didn't take you guys inside there, but because it was a little bit of mold still there. Oh, what? The all right, guys. So we're done, finished with this house. Just wanted to kind of come back and show you guys what I did. So right where I'm standing was where the outbuilding was at. Uh, we got rid of that. Uh, cut the grass in the back and in the front. We got paid to do that. We got rid of, paid to get rid of all this debris and also inside the house uh, to spray antimicrobial spray. So all that was done and I'm gonna now go back to my old self. So we're gonna go back to the future and now we're going crazy again. So, so we have a little technical difficulty, but so we got the outbuilding done got the grass cut, we got the debris removal, we got the antimicrobial spray. Now let's go back and I'm gonna tell you what I did, uh, how much I got paid on each of these jobs. All right. Okay, so if you made it this far, you've seen the, the work, everything's been done. All the work has been completed. So to do the outbuilding, to do the outbuilding, I put a bid in for $1,821.34. That's what I got paid remove that which it wasn't hard to do it wasn't hard to do at all uh it doesn't take that much effort uh the next thing is the grass so the grass is about four feet high let me see uh the grass was so basically the grass is on four feet high and i put a bid in to do that for 355 dollars that take that took about so it took about an hour and a half to do so the antimicrobial spray spray downstairs 500 a little over 500 square feet i got paid 535 dollars and to remove the exterior debris was $500. So to remove all that stuff and haul it away, $500. So property preservation definitely is profitable, you know what I mean? Um, right now we're, we're steady, so that's why you see me doing it by myself. It's not, we're not fast, we're not slow, and I kinda, I mean, if the, when the work picks up a little bit more, which I'd see that happening in January, the first quarter, somewhere between January and March, uh, we should see a big influx of work because so many people uh so many gonna be so many foreclosures out there it's gonna be a ton of work so but right now i'm just kind of mark time just kind of keeping steady keeping busy and uh you know this take me one day so one day i've made so for this house right here right the total for this house is three thousand two hundred eleven dollars and 34 cents that's what i made on this house in one day one day so you know property preservation is definitely uh, profitable if you want to learn more want to know more you know drop me a comment let me know um, what you guys think is it something that you think you could do I think you can uh, and I'm encouraging everybody to, to watch my channel to get involved in it some kind of way uh, so yeah in this <laughs> one day three thousand two hundred eleven dollars thirty four cent thank you for staying to the end I hope you check out more of my information and more of my channel. Uh, and I hope that you enjoy what you've been watching so far. So if you would, do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I do upload again. Till the next time.